It is time now for better realty. So making some small changes to the outside of your home can really make a big difference in attracting potential buyers. John Genio of Silver and Oak Realty is here to talk about summer projects you can do to add curb appeal. Welcome, John, because it's the season, right? To it spruce is. up the outside of your house. It definitely is. And they say, you know, it's true, right? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. So mm -hmm. for a house, that is the drive-by. How do you feel when you look at this It house? is so true. It, it, it'll make the difference if someone's going to stop and look at the inside or just keep driving by. Okay, so you, your first tip is power washing. And we've yes. got some pictures to show people actually before and after. Power washing can actually make a huge difference. Oh, my gosh. So wow, this is a is single a house, right? Yeah. So all the old black and whatever goes shape. away and it be, turns blonde again. Mm -hmm. So not only does it make one of the most um, dramatic differences it's also one of the most cost effective things that you can do i mean just looking at this photo here um, it doesn't even look like the same house and you can actually just rent or buy your own power washer you it's not that expensive mm -hmm. and just do it yourself if you don't want to hire someone you can uh, one thing i would recommend though if you have a, a wood sided house i would hire a professional because you could do a lot of damage if, if, okay. you're, if you don't know what you're doing Okay. Right, here's the second one. Big difference there also. Yeah. Just and so much finally, cleaner. we've got something with the roof where you get rid of the moss, which is, I know, yes. a problem. Yeah, especially near the shore. Oh, my gosh. I mean, look at that. It looks like you put a new roof on the house. Yeah, so you just power wash that off. Or, mm -hmm. again, if you get a service and they have all the right tools and they can go up high safely. Yeah. All right. They know what to use to get rid of the moss and, and mold. So, also the walkway, and mm -hmm. this is a problem with old Connecticut houses. I've had this. Is that they, you know, you've got the chipped bluestone or yeah. whatever. What can we do? Because the walkway is going to be important as people walk it up. It is. Yeah. So power washing there as well, and it helps to get. If you ever see the little green moss that grows between the stones, the the patio or the walkway stones. Yep. Power washing can get rid of that. Um, another example here before and after. Okay. Yeah, that looks a big difference there. Mm -hmm. And again, this is power washing, so you can get the uh, same deal with someone's going to do your house. Say, hey, do my walkways too. Yes. Don't forget the walkways. All right, here's, the, here's a big difference between like the little weeds and grass mm -hmm. in between the bricks and stuff. So again, you just use a power washer to get that out, or do you, you have to spray anything first? Um, you can do either. Um, I mean, if you can do on your own, just pulling the grass and the weeds as they come up. I think that's really a big deal. Power washing is is really good if you get that heavy moss. Uh, but there's a million different things you can use. There's even some things you can do at home mixtures you can make yeah actually my husband and my daughter just made like vinegar and yeah. dish soap sprayed down and they just died and they just swept it right away it's it was amazing how that yeah. works isn't it yeah it's a simple thing don't even need chemicals landscaping so if you're going to do that you can actually uh, we're going to have some pictures of landscaping as mm -hmm. well but um <laughs> if it's overgrown or it's a bunch of weeds growing that's going to be a problem yeah that's it just it looks oh, wild yeah. and out of control so this is actually done virtually we talked before about virtual staging well this is something you do virtually you could design your landscape and actually send it to a landscaper to show them exactly what you're looking to do so i see in this virtual world you added like some mulch right mm -hmm. you took out sort of like the the dead green stuff added some mulch and replanted yeah. okay you can mix and match you can put flowers in take them out put bushes in it's it's, it's fun and that's an app so there's different landscaping apps that you can use there's a bunch of different ones it's kind of like painting where you get to go and decide what's it going to look like before i put the color on the wall it's exactly that all yeah. right so but you just take the app show your landscaper and say recreate this you, pretty much okay or you can do it yourself. Uh, yeah, right? or exactly, you can do it yourself. This is how you live in. It for you. Now, people are going to go outside and see the deck. You think it's worth it if you're selling your house, invest in some nice deck furniture that'll give yes. people the sense that it's a really nice place. It makes it feel like more living space. All right, so here's it before without any furniture. And oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. So you can, I guess, right, if you're going to see somebody's house, you can imagine you and your friends sitting there on a nice summer evening, whereas if it's empty, you kind of have a hard time picturing it. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine walking out the door of a house you're looking at potentially to buy and there's just nothing? Yeah. All you see is deck. You can't visualize what, what we're looking at now. And that looks really good, too. And a lot of times this time of the year, you can get deals because it's sort of like past you you know, the, the, the heat of the summer. So you can get some of those deals before fall sets in. You definitely yeah. can. And then finally, we want to talk about the front door. Mm -hmm. And especially here, I feel like in New England, I love when you drive by and you see a really pretty door that's painted oh, yeah. a cool color. But it, just in general, you want that front door to be in mint condition. Yeah, so the front door draws your attention to the house. Um, I love this here, the, the red painted door. Um, you can do a variation of different bright colors. One type of door that I personally love is, is with the right style of house, the, the door that's stripped down and just sealed stained wood. It's, they just look beautiful. 
uh, but the door really draws attention. And one thing that people forget about and don't realize, subconsciously buyers will see the mailbox first. Really? So, yeah, if you have a really kind of rundown, raggedy looking mailbox, I would recommend putting in a, a nicer new mailbox, spend the little bit of money it would cost to do that, and it'll really help your curb appeal. So it's not even like you have to go crazy spending a lot of money, but a little things can make a huge mm -hmm. difference. And a can of paint to do the doors. Yeah, you could do the door nothing. yourself. I yeah. love them when they yeah. do the shiny, the high gloss paint. I uh, love that. You know, it just really draws your eye. Or you can, uh, they have now just the brass accents that mm -hmm. you can do that. It just makes such a difference. So now if you're not a great painter, do you think you should hire someone for that? Or do you I think anyone yes. can do that? Because <laughs> a painted front door walkway and around it probably isn't great. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just, just know your know your limitations. Actually, though, but most homeowners have probably done some painting in their yeah. life, so you can just take your time, right? All right, yes. Well, not thanks great. so much. Those were some Thank great you. tips. I feel like I need to go home and paint my front door. <laughs> I'm I feeling know. inspired. What color? All right, so if you have some DIY summer project ideas, you can actually share them on the sil Silver and Oak Facebook page. Just use the hashtag Better Realty and everyone else can learn from your ideas too. We want to see what you've done. Great. Well, want to help um, some, you need some help figuring out ways to better your home? We'll reach out to silverandoakct.com for more information. Thanks, John.